Hey guys, what's up, Cancer? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future. Um, situation, any obstacles, good or bad, in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Please keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. Um, also keep in mind this is a general reading. So, damn. So it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Cancel. Media future. Ah, there's your energy. And there's a connection that you're wanting, but somebody is uh, feeling let down, disappointed. It's a mental confusion, possibly. Kind of feeling stuck in a self imprisonment. Oh, not ready. Self imprisonment of the mind. Let's see your future, though. Cancel. All right. Damn, the cards just want to talk. Can't even shuffle them. All right, let's see. Thank you. There we go. All right, Cancer. Somebody needs to talk. There's some clarity that's needed or that's coming. Looks like somebody walked away. But like I said, let's see your future and the past where it sits. Cancer. Immediate future for Cancer, please. Too many cards but there is that four of wands again damn all right cool will of fortune destiny is on your side fate is on your side good luck is on your side and there's a magician at the bottom so make sure you're taking advantage of what the universe is providing you right now because it's there for you could be dealing with an aquarius but there's some some type of wish fulfillment here let's see Cancer, immediate future. Immediate future for cancer. Thank you. Damn, great card. So, woohoo. Hopefully they stay that way. Okay, so your numbers are breaking down to, let's see, a nine. This may be an intense time. Doesn't have to be a bad intensity. You know, sometimes intense situations are fun. If they're the right kind of intensity. All right. Let's see. What is this Will of Fortune for Cancer? So definitely, damn. You definitely, there's some sadness. There's some regret. There's some disappointment. There's some letdown. Possibly with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, just something that you see is solid. Somebody who possibly, you know, you felt like the, the rock in the relationship. Um... But this also means, with her, the best is yet to come. And you have the will of fortune. But somebody has been holding back emotionally here. Got ghosted. Felt left out in the cold. Forgot about. This is the situation, okay? So, hopefully this is progressing because things are starting to change now. There's a lot of worry behind this. Mental worry. Anxiety. Losing sleep. Stressing. This could be you or them. These are some pretty heavy-ass cards. But you see this as your victory, right? Um, you see this as something that you really want, stability, something long-term, but for some reason it's heavy. There could be a lot of responsibility with it. There could be a lot of burden, but I'm kind of feeling like it's this damn energy because this is a lot of heaviness. So we have two fives already here as, as the situation. Three equals a tower moment, which is a big change. So this is building up. It's like putting too much air in a balloon. Eventually it's going to pop. This has got to pop. Damn, I hope that's not you. I hope that's not your energy because somebody is just very regretful, feeling left behind, ghosted, um, completely holding back. And this definitely can, you know, be their energy or both of you guys' energy. Because um, there's a lot of stress, a lot of worry. Um, and the Nine of Swords is mental thoughts that we put in our heads. This is um, self-imposed, kind of. You think about something so much over and over again that you just can't get it out of your head. And it makes you worry so damn much. Show me the star for cancer. This is in a position of... Um, 
the obstacles here. So you could be dealing with a Virgo with the Hermit energy here. There's a lot of healing. Um, balance. I'm feeling the issue is balance. Like I said with this, things could be one-sided. It is a lot of heaviness. It's feeling like you see carrying a lot of weight on your back like this fella is doing. But um, it's really weighing on you. Something needs to balance out here. Um, and we have the star and the five of pentacles. So I'm just going to throw it out. The star here, um, definitely a lot of healing. A lot of um, taking a time out for the, from the world. But with the star, this can be somebody who has a lot of deep emotions. But they don't know how to express it because they have a fear of being left out in the cold. Um, and, you know, somebody is feeling that way. So I'm just going to mention that because these two cards are here together. Um, so it's kind of like somebody's fear has became reality. And these kind of fears didn't just start with you with this relationship. Um, this is something that probably started with somebody long ago in their life. Like it has nothing to do with you or the situation. Just somebody doesn't know how to. Um... You're waiting on some type of balance here. And that's that's the problem is there's no damn movement or there hasn't been any. The hermit is taking time out from the world, um, peacing out, trying to gain some clarity, doing some inner reflection, some soul searching here. And with this four of swords, I feel like I said this to you guys yesterday in this four of pentacles. Somebody is all the way um, detached, like not moving at all. Time out of a lifetime is what it's feeling like. Show me this Ace of Cups for Cancer, please. For the outcome. Alright, so you have the Queen of Wands um, with the Ace of Cups. So this is somebody, could be Aries Leo Sag, does not have to be. Um, this could be, you know, this is a person who, who you know, won't take, won't take less than what they deserve here. Taurus energy, but this is somebody you're very attracted to, or they're very attracted to you. Um, and this is a new beginning in love here for your outcome. So hopefully things are starting to pick up like this wheel of fortune. Yep. The world, a new cycle is beginning here for you. Um, a lot of fiery, passionate, um, a lot of fiery, passionate kind of energy. Remember at the beginning, we were talking about like that intensity, that some some intensity is good. So that's like the intensity that I was talking about. So this may be an intense time for you or someone to kind of get through. Um, but the Queen of Wands also talks about like being adored by your partner here. Like there's a lot of passion behind that. Um, definitely could be with the Taurus, but this is like a new cycle starting something very grounded here. You find this as your victory. Um, this just popped over. So I don't want to take this many cards, but I did see the chariot, which is your energy here with cancer. So there is communication coming. The magician is here, um, which is manifesting. So know that you have all the tools right now to make anything that you want happen. It does take effort though. Like these new opportunities don't just pop in our lap. We have to, we have to grow, you know, um, grab hold of them. Um, because this is your, your, your wish fulfillment. So, I mean, your emotional fulfillment, this is your heart. This is like, this is the connection that you want, that they want. So there is communication coming because somebody, somebody has finally taken some action here, making a decision. Um, there could have been like some juggling in the past, a player energy here with the Knight of Wands. Um, somebody kind of going back and forth between two people or two things, just not giving their whole time here. Um, but somebody is wanting to start planning, working together with the Three of Pentacles, collaborating on this. Um, so there is communication coming. It's coming for you. This energy is passing. You have the will of fortune and the magician was just there. You have destiny, fate, good luck on your side. Um, this is going to make you very, very happy. So it's almost like, you know, your boats, because both of these columns, there's no movement. And this is, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of heaviness. 
somebody has got to make the effort here. And there's definitely communication that's coming coming that's going to make you happy. With that page of wands, it may come in quick. It's I feel like it's passionate messages, especially with the queen of wands there. It could be dealing with the Aries. But um, there's a lot of determination here now to go after what you want. The knight of swords. This is truth coming out, being revealed, that catches somebody off guard. Unexpected truth. And I don't feel like it's bad here because for your outcome, you have a brand new beginning. You have the will of fortune and the world ending old cycles, ending this garbage and starting a new one, a brand new one. Something very stable, possibly with the Taurus does not have to be. But this is your emotional fulfillment. This truth is going to catch you off guard, but it's good. It's good messages. It's passionate messages. <clears throat> It's messages that just really make you feel good here. There's a need for balance. So somebody has to initiate that balance. And like I said, though, like with the balloon, when you have this many fives, this many things building up, like the air in the balloon, eventually it's going to pop. And if you don't make the effort or the other person doesn't make the effort, this is kind of like the universe stepping in and is like, um, it's turning the wheel for you. But somebody has to reach out and grab that. It could kind of be, you know, both being a little bit hard-headed here. It could be dealing with the Capricorn um, and keeping a lot of things to yourself. Possibly, you know, on both sides here. Like, just the determined energy, like, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling hard-headed. Um, somebody, this is a five of swords. It's another five. But it's also about... Um, being out for yourself. Somebody is, is being out for themselves, but also see this as like a determined drive. So, you know, possibly it's like you're just waiting on the other person to make a move or they're waiting for you. But this is coming back around for you. Something is balancing out here. There is a very strong connection that's coming, coming possibly a reconciliation. Um, it's there for you. Yeah, this is moving to calmer waters here. Possibly an apology coming. One way or the other. I'm going to get an oracle card for you guys. I normally don't do that for the immediate future. But somebody, whether it's you or them, is going through it here. Has been. So make sure, you know, that you're using all the tools that's there in front of you. Because you have it with that magician. Um, you know... Somebody has to take the lead here. But it's finally happening. Changes are coming. Cancer. Card for cancer. Thank you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And that's kind of like with that five of swords. Like everybody's just kind of being a little hard-headed. And this could be the one. Your part, you already met the romantic partner you seek. And I skipped this one. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So let go of this weight. Let go of this weight. Drop this burden. It's coming back around. This person is coming back around. For some of you, it could be, you know, somebody brand new here. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So definitely let go of control issues and keep an open mind because you could be staring your soulmate right in the eyes and, um, you know, possibly somebody is making this way more difficult than it needs to be. But like I said, there, there possibly is a fear of abandonment here with somebody. So they don't really know how to express that. And that, like I said, whether that's you or them, that goes way back before this relationship. That goes back to, like, you know, early years. So, definitely flirt, make the effort, because there is chemistry. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Release your ex was there, too. So, maybe there's something holding you back um, from moving forward to this. Finances and career is also here. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that could be true because here in the um, 
obstacles. We have the six of pentacles, which can do with, you know, cash flow. Like I said, things just aren't balanced. So, you know, maybe money was an issue here. Maybe you guys were having some money problems, especially with the five of pentacles, feeling lacking in some type of area, go still left behind, that type of thing. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you guys. I really hope this helped, hope this resonated, because you guys have some heavy ass energy that's not cool not cool at all a lot of worry a lot of stress a lot of anxiety a lot of weight on your back try to stay out of your head if you can like for, i don't know how you do that but um worrying is definitely adding to this weight so maybe try to find like something to take your mind i don't know not good at giving the advice here I just read the cards because <laughs> I, you know, staying out of your head is way easier said than done. I'm aware of that. But just know this is coming back around for you, okay? All right, Cancer, you guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.